Hey everybody, it's Cheryl and welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 36 and this week we're going to be talking about Batik Wax Resist. So if you buy Batik fabrics and you, I, I love Batik fabrics and I always wanted to know how they were done so I went and got a kit that had some Batik wax in it and this is a mix of paraffin and other types of wax that's meant to be used on fabric. Now, a couple of things about this particular technique before we get into it. Um, you're gonna be working with hot wax. So obviously there's a whole like, be careful, you're gonna burn yourself uh, thing going on as well as this batik wax really does smell bad and so you probably want to use a super well ventilated area and use your most utmost care and of course protect your surfaces because the wax is going to drip all over everything so i got the batik wax you know from and this is by jacquard products and i also picked up this tool which is called a canting and this tool you can see here has a hole in it and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to dip this into the hot wax and gravity will pull the wax out through this little tip and you can also blow into it and that will get it to, to flow and the hot wax then becomes sort of like it's sort of like writing with a pen um, and obviously you want to keep your hand back here on the wooden part and not on the metal part so you're going to be able to write on your fabric using this and I thought you know great I'm, I'm I've got these two things I've got the wax I've got my canting and then I needed to heat my wax now a lot of people use a an electric frying pan and they only use that for for their wax use, you know, and, and things like that. Um, I actually got this really cool melting pot uh, little doohickey from Ranger, and I believe that this is supposed to be used with like scrapbooking type supplies and things like that. You can use this for glue. Um, it's got a temperature gauge here at the top. I thought this was a really cool little thing, and it heated up my um, batik wax really really well so it was great I had the ability to you know have really close access to it anyway this is what I used uh, to heat my wax up instead of an electric frying pan so once I had all that set up and I got my prepared for dyeing fabric or fabric that doesn't have any sizing or anything in it I stretched it tight and then I used my canting and I started to draw my typical octopus design. And this is the part where I have to admit I'm not very good at batiking. <laughs> so this was the quilt that I made and you can see that, you know, the batiking where the wax is supposed to basically create a barrier between my colors uh, did not create a barrier between my colors. It bled all over. Um, I did a little bit better down here, but I didn't get the definition in the octopus like I would have liked. Um, it's supposed to be basically blocked this, this all the way so that it was white, started out as a white fabric. Now I used d uh, paints, uh, thinned paints on this, and that is not what created the issue. The created, what created the issue were a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, the wax in taking it from the, the heated surface to applying it to the fabric either took too long or it cooled too quickly um, and it did not create a, a thick enough barrier or seep into the fabric enough. So that was one of my many problems with uh, this particular technique. In the end, it's kind of cool. I sprinkled some uh, kosher salt over it so that created some of this pebbling effect here, which I thought was pretty nice, but I'm not very good at batiking, so I tried it. I'm done with it. 
Um, I want you to try it too because you may find that you absolutely love it. So anyway, be sure to follow along on my blog where we're going to have all the supply information for this project. You can also subscribe to this channel and get a copy of these videos in your newsfeed every week. And you can also go to my website and sign up for my newsletter and get the 52 Technique of the Week checklist so you can follow along with us every single week. And thank you, and I will see you again next week. So bye.